Hey YouTube, it's USA USA Dora Strategy bring you guys some sad news for people in Japan. So voice actor Chenchi Ogawa passed away. So he was voice of Black Jack 21's Hasama and Yukio Sexual's Doctor Figure and Aldono Zero's Emperor Ravers. He was 74 when he passed away. Um And he played um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Sexual's Doctor Figure in the OCG in Japan, I believe. Yeah, in Japan. So yeah, that's sad. But here's some interesting news: a Yu-Gi-Oh! card gets stolen from Walmart, <laughs> and unfortunately, some bananas. So bananas with a value of 78 cents were stolen from a Topeka Walmart earlier this month. If you guys don't know where Topeka, if you guys don't know where Topeka is located, it's located in Kansas. A Topeka Police Department um, offense reports report shows bananas were taken from the North Topeka Walmart on March 15th. The incident happened at 1:53 p.m. But yeah, but. The bananas were recovered the same day. The report shows. Here we go. Premium gold Yu-Gi-Oh cards valued at forty-four dollars and ninety-four cents were taken from another Walmart store. The incident happened at twelve twenty p.m. Tuesday at something. Some, as with the banana, as with the bananas, the stolen Yu-Gi-Oh cards were recovered the same day. And our crime news from the police, start, police department. Um, yeah. So who's, what's the whole point of this opposing us up if they already got them back? Whatever. <laughs> so it seems that Target likes to overprice their stuff. <laughs> I meant Walmart likes to overprice their stuff. I want to say still like multiples. Then yeah, sure. Now let's go to the actual game itself, guys. Um, anything for Star Pack Arc V? So far, Star Pack Arc V is, is pretty damn good. I like it. Like, Odd Eyes Pedal and Dragons in there. Time Gazer, Star Gazer. Pretty damn good to Star Pack. And we got some exciting news for Dakota um, Dragons of Legend to you. Not for us, but for the OCG. Uh, anything new? Well, not yet, guys. I'll keep looking. I checked every other set that's coming out. Um, well, pretty much every other product coming out for the TCG. There's nothing just yet. And Jack Atlas and Crow Hogan are confirmed to show up in Arc V. So what you guys know. From you just following that up. Hopefully for the Arc V episode of Jack and Crow, we see their signer dragons. Red Dragon, Arch Fiend, and Black Wing Dragon. And hopefully we see the alter egos of those two cards. You know, like Hot Red Dragon, Arch Fiend, Black Wing, Fire Dragon. That would be pretty cool to say. Um, yeah. Hopefully we, use, hopefully we see Jack use Crimson Border against Yield. That would be hilarious. He's like, now we can't special summon it for your next turn. He's like, aww. Damn. So for Dragons of Legend 2 OCG style, for Mirror Force Dragons confirmed. This guy looks badass. <laughs> Just look at this guy. He's like ripped up, ready to kick some ass. So he's a light monster, so it could be used of honest. So he's a Dragon Fusion. He's a level 8, 2800 attack, hold for defense. Must be special summoned with the Fane of Critias, sending Mirror Force from a hand or side to fuel to the grave. And cannot be special summoned, special summoned by other ways. During each party's turn, a monster you control is targeted for attack or an opponent's card effect. <laughs> you destroy all cards your opponent controls. That's hilarious. I love that effect. That's awesome. And the anime, um, and the anime, his effect was. When your opponent attacks, you take one trap card from your graveyard and set it face down. Then you can set, then you can use it. That I think that was pretty much his effect. I'm not sure, but his card is pretty badass. I love this card. It's so awesome. 
It's just basic. It's like Judgment Dragon, but for Kaiba. <laughs> so cool. I love it. Um, this card is just so friggin' amazing. Oh, that's so hilarious. When your opponent attacks, you destroy all cards your opponent controls. You're like, what? <laughs> your opponent gets so pissed off. When I'm pissed off, you probably gotta like, try to rip your card. He's like, fuck this card! <laughs> There's nothing yet for Duel's Pack Battle City so far. Um, but it's only two cards that's Blue Eyes and Red Eyes, obviously. But we would get to God, so that'd be pretty cool. Um. I think that's I think that's pretty much it for today. Yeah, it's nothing really new. And is there anything confirmed for the structure deck yet? The Master of Pedulum? The structure deck seems interesting actually. So far in Arc V, um, Gyo has been going pretty badass. <laughs> yeah, nothing yet. So, in this, it has, um... It includes a new Ace Dragon as well as many shiny cards. So it is pretty much a lower age group demographics. I'm not sure what I mean by that. It will also include reprints of many useful cards to meet the news, the needs of new and old players alike. Um, so it's gonna be a 40 free card deck. I imagine it's free um, extra deck cards. So probably, I I have a feeling it's gonna be based off U.S. deck. So yeah. But yeah, guys, I think that's pretty much, pretty much it for today. I don't really see anything else. Yeah. Nothing else. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe. And I'm excited for Dragons of Legend 2 to come out. I want that Mary Force Dragon so badly. It looks amazing. And it's one badass card for including for Kaiba. I'm going to use that card in a blue eye stack. I don't care what anyone says. I'm like a fan of Critias. <laughs> that would be so cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. This is you. Say to watch today. Signing off. Peace, guys.